Greetings, viewers. Hey, thanks for joining Oswald and me as we walk out the garage and step directly into uh, my little tiny off-road park. Now, everybody's talking tiny houses and saving space and little stuff. Well, this is the entrance to my tiny off-road park. Oswald and I love to come out here and play. We like to maintain the trails. This is Fun Junkie Trail. It is the entrance here. This is one option. Now I'm going to show you how I make the most out of three acres. And I haven't even touched but a quarter of it. This is a second way down into the park, my park. There are only eight people who have been invited and or wheeled here but uh it's super awesome and my friends and i really love it and i thought maybe it was time i did a little walk through of course the camera doesn't show it but that's a nice little way through all the fallen logs and things make for nice obstacles you can tell this has been well worn uh, i try to yeah keep it looking halfway decent <laughs> Uh, but anyway, nice little V entrance there. So there's two entrances. And then you come down here. Again, you can tell from the, the ruts we've been through this. I, I like to spread it wide so you have different options. Oswald's showing you the, the left side line. Uh, this is my creek. It flows to the river. It is always flowing no matter how slightly like it is right now, there are rocks placed just right. Now I have uh, packed so many logs and rocks in this creek over the years. I've lived here 28 years. Uh, this was motocross tracks for a long time uh, when I was a younger guy and I run motocross bikes out here. Then uh, I changed it to off-road trails. Here lately, we've been really improving upon it. Enough about that creek. Oswald's over there. Now, as far as you can see through the woods, that's all my property we haven't even touched yet. You can see my house through the woods. My property goes clear to the other side. This is all stuff we haven't touched. Now, before this tree fell, there used to be a trail going that way. That's been years. Come on, dog. All right, enough about that. Nice little off camber spot. When this is really muddy, you can tell by all the mud kicked up, this is really slippery, super greasy. I have all this over here to touch. Haven't even touched it. This is still the entrance trail, my trail, Fun Junkie Trail. Oswald loves running around out here. <laughs> now I had all these logs laid across here like a log obstacle. But when it's uh, slimy, it's so wet, you can't get over it. Um, so much has fallen down, but there's so much to be cleared now. Okay, this is my first spot where it's a uh, good use of space. Now, I seriously only have <laughs> trails cut. He loves to run out here on about a quarter of what I have. Okay, just to give you an idea. But when you get to this spot here, you got three options. You can go three different ways. When you come around that option, you can cut back up here, go around there, come back through here. You can come through here, go up there. You can go around there. I crisscross the trails a lot. But if you uh, want to really work at it, I mean, there's so many different options. You got six to eight different paths you can go just right here. This goes back into the creek. All that used to be open trail for trucks. I've let it grow over. You can see a nice climb right over there. I'm going to go around this way and show you. I hope you take time to watch this. If you have any land, see, look how cool a climb that'll be. Uh, you could make a, a really nice off-road park for yourself. This is all fence that we had to dig out 
of this trail over here. You see Oswald running up it. That's that new V-notch trail. I just posted a video. Me and my son made this trail. <laughs> it is a sweet climb, really flexy. Uh, super nice spot, all right? If you just turn around to here, that's where we just came through. There's the new spot that exits up there. I'll be there in a minute. I was just standing over there. This is that climb. That's that's tough spot. If you uh, don't want to climb that, you can go through the creek. If you come around the creek the other way, you can climb that side. You can go back through three or four different ways. If you come up here, you got the V-notch, you got that hill, you got this hill. I got off-camber spots. You can get the truck through all these different ways. <laughs> I really wish you could be here and see this. There'll be a lot more wheeling videos here as we continue to open up more trails. I decided, uh, yeah, I'm tired of driving two hours and paying to go wheeling. Now, I know this ain't the great greatest place. And uh, if there were, you know, if it were open to the public, there'd be no way you could have a three acre off road park. Right here, this with all these roots, this is really off camber. That's a nice climb. These roots present a problem when this is wet. It's like grease out here. Uh, you can swing around and come through this two, three different ways. Come up over there, go through the V-notch trail over there. Two downhills, both of these split off. Oz dog just loves it. I gotta holler for him every now and then. He gets out of earshot. But yeah, this is pretty steep. These roots make this real nice. That's a cool tree. That one up there is a cool tree too. Um, but yeah, all this land is all mine. So, so many more trails can be made. This is about the end of it where that cool big tree is. This is a new spot I just opened up in the creek. I showed you that. This is super deep, really swampy right now. This is opened up so much you can go 25 different ways. And literally, you can come out here and play for hours and not get tired of it. Uh, you can go here through here. You saw us jump Rasty up this hill over here multiple times. If you haven't seen that, go back and watch them. This is a low spot. It always stays muddy and soupy. But I've got some really decent climbs. Uh, we're working on rocks in the V-notch. I got a lot, a lot I can open up and head that way in that direction. All that back up to my house. You can kind of see up there. Anyway, uh, barely touched. I know I haven't touched more than, uh, wow, that's a hunk of metal I just found. <laughs> uh, but anyway, sorry, I got to keep an eye on Ozdog. He gets out here and uh, gets on a trail of a deer, a scent of, of a deer or something. Yeah, you know, he runs off. So I got to keep an eye on him. He play a mountain goat over there. He climbs up that hill. There's uh little caves under that tree but that's not what we're here to talk about uh this is that part of that new trail i just showed you part of the old trail but anyway so many different ways to go i just wanted to share with you i don't know if this will get many views or not but my tiny off-road park is great i can come out here anytime i want <laughs> it is literally uh 10 feet from my garage driveway and have a really good time for hours. Uh, if I want to come out here for 10 minutes and test something. Or come out here for a couple of hours and get my mind right. And do some wheeling. Five, four or five guys at a time. Come over. We wheel around. We either play follow the leader. Or just everybody do what they want. It's awesome. So more new trails to come. I uh, really appreciate you watching this. I know I've probably gone on for a minute too long. Uh, 
you know how that goes though <laughs> but anyway uh, i just wanted to share this i've shown some videos this is what we call the secret test facility because like i say if you want to just test a new part you put on for a minute or come out here and have a hoot with your buddies on a weekend or whatever or an evening we've done night wheeling out here lots more wheeling to come uh, i appreciate it if you'd like subscribe um yeah you know, comment click links whatever you know what they want you to do oswald and i would sure appreciate it especially the like and subscribe and i do love the comments so let me know what you think of my tiny off-road park and yeah have a super great day